me and today I'm going to be doing a Vanya Hargreaves makeup tutorial. So let's get started. Everything I'll be using will be in the description down below. Also, um, I do wash and clean my face um, before I start doing my makeup. I just never show that and I always forget to like say that. So make sure you have a clean face before you put makeup on. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is priming my face. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting on some concealer. So now I'm going to be putting on some foundation. So apparently my camera was not according, according, recording, and I didn't notice. Um, so I did put on foundation. I only was able to record going down my neck a little, and I missed a little right here, so I did that. But I did put on foundation. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna start contouring and stuff. So, um, I'm almost out of this. Like, there's like almost nothing left, but I'm still gonna use it. So, it's also not very good. It's actually really horrible. Um, I just don't have anything else. So, I'm gonna be first making her jaw sharp. Cause she has a pretty sharp jaw from like there to there. From her whole jaw is sharp. I don't, I don't know what I was saying. But I'm gonna be going under my whole jaw. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to be contouring the rest of my face because so I looked at a picture of her because I wasn't sure exactly how her face looked. So she does have some pretty deep cheekbones, so I'm just going to be going, like, there-ish. I'm going to make my temples a little bit, like, sunken in because her temples are a bit sunken in. Also, I love how... When I do this, it just makes my face look... I don't know why I do. Um, I'm gonna leave my forehead alone because she does have a pretty big forehead. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so, um, she does have a bigger bottom lip than I do, so I'm just gonna be going right under... Like that. And then it just kind of gives a shadow to make my top... my bottom lip look bigger. Um, even with it unblend... not blended in, it still looks a little bit bigger. Now her nose is really thin compared to mine, so I'm going to be doing my best to make it as thin as possible. I'm going to be blending all this in. I'm going to use my brush first and then my beauty blender. Okay, so now I'm going to be highlighting my face. I'm using this um, palette. I have no idea if I can find this. I've got, I have no idea where it's even from. But I'm taking this one and then I'm just dusting it off like a lot because I don't want to be too, my face to be too shiny. Then I'm just going across my cheekbones. <laughs> Okay, 
she does, as I said before, she does have a bigger forehead than I do, so I'm just taking it over again, and I'm going to be highlighting my forehead just so that way it sticks out more. Okay, for my nose, I'm just going to be taking my pinky because I want to be thin and going down my nose. And then I'm going to be skipping this little bit right here and doing the end of my nose. So that's going to help it look thinner right in the middle. And then also by skipping that little part, it's going to give me more of a button nose. And that's also why I did put a little contour there. She does have a tiny button nose. I know what you're thinking. This looks bad. Yes, it does. Um... But I'm going to do my best to fix everything because, like, I don't know. Like, in real life, it looks really bad. On camera, it doesn't look as bad. But I'm going to be taking this blush um, in the same thing and tapping it off. And then just going, like, here. That doesn't look too bad. But I feel like there's a lot on there. So I'm going to be trying to fix that now. Okay, so now I'm going to be setting my face, and I'm going to be overly setting my cheeks just to, like, calm everything down there. Okay, so now I'm going to be priming my eyes, and also it doesn't look as bad anymore. Like, it's- it looks fine, I think. Now. Maybe. I have no idea. Um, but now I'm going to be priming my eyes. So I just looked at her picture again, and she does have filled in eyebrows, but not, like, that bad. Like, they kind of almost look exactly like my eyebrows, except the end is just kind of cut off, like, there. So I'm just going to kind of be filling it in to about there. Um, so. So now I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow. It looks like she's not wearing any, but I'm just going to be doing a little bit just to make it look how I want it to. Okay, so the first color I'm going to be using is this dark, like, it's not dark brown, this light brown. Um, it's very light. I'm just going to be using it as a base. I almost just broke everything in there. Alright, so now I'm going to be putting on this uh, brown right under it. It's a little bit darker, but not by much. I'm just going to be going on my lid. Okay, and now I'm going to be taking the first brown that we went in with and just going right under my eyes because she does have some dark circles under her eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to be lining my eyes with this brown, uh, brown eyeliner pencil. Um, and I'm just going to be doing the top lid. So now I'm going to be blinding my bottom lid with this white eyeliner. Now that I've lined my waterline, I'm going to be taking that same brown pencil I used on the top and going along my lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing eyeliner, not eyeliner, mascara on the tips of my eyelashes. After every time I put some eyeliner or mascara on, I blink so that way it gets a little bit on my lower lashes, but I don't want it to be a lot. Okay, so now I'm taking this lip liner um, and I'm going to be overlining my bottom lip and just lining my top lip. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm going to be using this lipstick, um, but for some reason I can never find it so I can't link it, but it's mate or matte, I don't know, LA Colors lipstick in this color. I don't know what color this is. I just made a mistake. Um, now I need to wash this off because this is not good. Not at all. Okay, so now that I fixed that, I'm going to be taking this lipstick that and seeing if that works, but I don't know. No, I hate this. Why did I do that? I was able just to wipe that off with just my fingers. Honestly, I think I'm just going to leave my lips and maybe just put some chapstick on it. Okay, I just put chapstick on and I think it's going to be fine. Um, so now I'm going to do my hair, so I'm going to part it in the center. Okay, so I just put water on my, um my comb and combed it down because it's kind of poofy. Okay, so this is my Vanya season one shirt. Um, I stole this from my dad, so I have no idea where it's from. And this is my Vanya season two shirt. So right now, I'm going to go make TikToks in these two shirts. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to put on a different shirt for when she like goes all crazy. Um, like when she's wearing her tux thing and I'm going to be doing black eyeshadow and stuff and showing you how I do that. I just want to make the other TikToks first before I ruin this makeup, so. Oh, also I just remembered and I wanted to tell you guys. So right now my forehead doesn't look that big and I'm going to be making it look a little bit bigger on camera. So I'm just tilting the camera down a little bit and for some reason I feel like it makes my forehead look bigger. Um, so it's just a camera angle that helps me when I'm filming for her. Um, I didn't know if you guys wanted to know that. Okay, so I made a bunch of TikToks and stuff, so now I'm gonna start working on, like, her other eyeshadow part. So I'm gonna start by covering my eye in this light gray. I forgot to take pictures! Shoot. Okay, you can't really tell that much, but my eyeshadow is so pretty. I forgot to take pictures. One second, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now that I've taken my pictures, um that now I'm going to actually be going in with that gray and covering my like doing a whole base is that okay so now I'm taking this thinner angle brush and I'm gonna be using black on it and like trying to I'm using the sparkly black um and I'm trying to do like a thing but it's probably not gonna work I don't even know how to explain it. You know, I thought I knew what I was doing. I do not. Um, so I'm just going to be taking black and putting it on my lid for really quick and trying to fix this. Okay, now um, I'm going to try to keep going on this and take this gray, it's like a dark gray, and just kind of blend in between the black and gray. Okay, so I tried putting some like tan here because I definitely got way too much there and I don't know how to fix that. I'm going to put like white and tan there and try to like blend it out a little bit. Okay, it's blended a bit. Um, now I'm just going to do some black eyeliner. Now I'm going to be lining my waterline with this black.
Okay, so now I'm gonna be putting on some mascara. Okay, so I actually forgot to look at her picture and she has black eyeshadow that runs along her lower lid, so I'm gonna do that. So, um, this is, she has a white shirt on, and I don't have a black tie, but I do have black socks. And I'm trying to think of how to, like, put them on. Because even if I just do, like, one, it looks kind of like a tie, maybe. Scrunch that up a little. That actually looks like a tie. So I need a rubber band. Okay, so now I have this little clear rubber band and I'm gonna just, so where would it be? Like if I tuck that in, and then scrunch it, it'll be like there. And there's my fake tie. Alright, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, bye.